Hi guys, welcome to Kevin's Tried and Tasted. Um, I'm afraid I won't be tasting any wine today because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. My taste buds have been quite muted. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit thing about uh, something I've been aware of for a while, and that's microwaving red wine. Um, I, I, I came across an article years back saying that uh, some people actually prefer to microwave their red wine if they want to bring it up to room temperature, if they want to bring it up to temperature rapidly. And that's because they say it's better to be doing that, uh, so it's heating the wine evenly rather than leaving it by a heat source which would heat the wine unevenly. Now, so I've done it a couple of times in the past, I'm having dinner with my family and things like that, and um, I've had no, no, no problems with the wine at all. I would kind of microwave it on 10 second bursts at very low heat. But um, I only kind of thought about it there um, uh, last night because I was in a position where I had to, to do it um, in, in the restaurant. Um, there was a customer who uh, was drinking a California syrup and we we had just he drank all the wines that I had at room temperature and um, we, we I had to get to the get to a, a box of wine and it wasn't uh, warm enough for him so I um, I quickly uh, I quickly did a, a bit of a microwave in the kitchen and I brought it up to room temperature quite rapidly. Uh, now, it's something that I, I believe is done quite regularly in a lot of restaurants um, and I'm not sure if you guys have heard about it or if you have any opinions on it or if even if any of you have done it before. I'd love to hear if anyone has, um, but it, I, I think it would be quite uh, a regular occurrence, maybe not um, widely publicised by the restaurants themselves, but you can imagine that if, if, a, if a, a, a restaurant has a bible uh, of a, um, a wine list that's got hundreds or thousands of wines um, you know uh, they're obviously using a cellar and uh, if the wine is ordered they, they obviously can't tell which wine the customer is ordering so it's quite possible that the customer would want it um, uh, warmer than the temperature would be in the cellar um, very probable in fact so I've, I've heard that there's some restaurants um, that use this trick some sommeliers use this trick of, of microwaving the wine um, now there's, I just came across a video last night on YouTube, I'll leave the link down below, of a, a winemaker who said, um, who did a blind tasting of um, a microwave wine and a non-microwave wine. Um, now he had his own opinions on it and you can, you can follow up above, but the, 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 the general um, uh, consensus, his consensus was there was a, a slight difference to the wine uh, initially. But over time, after a couple of minutes, um, the, 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 wine, the two wines normalized and they both came, gave a consistent flavor and aromatic. So, um, now, to be honest, he, he didn't look like the most tr trustworthy individual with his mustache. You can uh, check it out, the video itself, the link is down below. So, that's my story. I microwave wines at home. I've done it first time ever for a customer last night. And he was tasting each wine as I um, as uh, as I presented it. So uh, and he didn't flinch when uh, the, the last wine that I, I gave to him was a microwave. So he obviously didn't uh, feel there was any difference. Um, on a side note, uh, this is a lovely wine that we have in the restaurant. Uh, the Domaine de Meteor Fougere is the name of the region. It's a blend of where are we again? It's uh, Malbec. Um, oh, sorry, I can't even remember. I think it's. Oh no, it's not. It's not a. That's the other one. Uh, this is just a Grenache Syrah Mouverdre blend. For now, it was just Grenache and Syrah. Um, lovely, lovely wine. Really, really interesting. It's imported by Neville and Nicholson. I leave the uh, the link to the one. Can't remember the grapes off my hand now. But um, delicious wine. Really mineral and complex. Very unusual red wine. For you kind of for the the wine nerds out there watching this, and um, this is something about Fougere in the Languedoc. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Want to check that out? Le Londes, Fougere, Domaine de Meteor. So, anyway, uh, leave a comment, guys. Uh, Mike Waving Wine, what do you think? Thanks very much for watching. Good to see you. Bye.